Hello. I'm here with Casey. Me. I'm so lucky. You are lucky. And we're finally making salsa. A lot of you guys have asked for it, and we're gonna do it. I'm gonna do it Let's to do it. Let's do it. Okay, so this is really what Casey usually makes, so I'm just gonna kind of follow his lead. But what we're going to need, of course, for salsa is tomatoes. And you like this kind best? Yeah. Why? They usually seem to be the most ripe. It doesn't matter. So whatever kind of tomatoes you guys like, that's what you should use. And then just one onion. Yeah, this is an, a, an exact recipe. I've never wrote it down. It's something I kind of come up with over the years, so I just kind of do it. It's different every time, it seems like. Yeah. Do you ever use white onions? Yeah. So switch it up, whatever. Whatever you want. Whatever. You whatever. Know. Um, garlic. If you want it a little more spicy, throw away a jalapeno. Some peppers. I don't love peppers in my salsa, but Casey does, so we usually have them in there. You don't love them in there? No. Why? I don't know. Uh, cilantro. I love cilantro on everything. And limes. Soy sauce. Vinegar. Salt. And uh, Worcester sauce. Okay, so we're going to start by cutting up the tomatoes, right? You want me yep. to do that? Yep, I'll help you. All right. What we did with the onion, just cut it up a little bit, and then we're going to put it in the uh, Ninja to dice it up even more. But the trick that uh, my mom taught us is if you uh, put a matchstick in your mouth while you're cutting the onions up, there's a lot less tear shed. Huh. Yes, usually. It does work. It is kind of an emotional deal, you know, making salsa with your wife, but really a matchstick really will work. Yeah. Right. I'm just going to add that onion, too. Do you like to puree some of the tomato? I do like to puree some of the tomato. Two or three. Shall we? <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to cut up these two. Just to give it a little bit more juice rather than chunks, just add some tomato to the food processor. Do you want to add garlic? Yeah, we can add garlic. All right, so you got your clove of garlic. You just put a knife over it and smash it. And it peels the skin right off of it, so you just have your garlic. How much garlic do you use? Um, lots. I'd say probably three cloves. Three cloves would be just noodles. Mm. Garlic. You do one more then? Sure. Puree it. You tell me one. I'd say she's mm, that smells yummy. I'm just chopping up some more of these tomatoes and then we'll start. Do you want to start peeling some of that off? This is usually just the job that Casey gives me, making me peel all the leaves just off. Just gotten so good at it over <laughs> the years. We're almost done. Do you want the peppers cut up, or I'd do you want them in there? In there? Okay. So we're just going to add the peppers and the cilantro to the food processor. This is kind of different. We don't usually use a food processor. All right. Oh, what about the jalapeno? I'm just going to cut these limes in half. Cut the jalapenos up. I like to cut them really small so then you're not getting a huge bite of a jalapeno and make it real spicy. If you don't like it spicy, if you like a more mild, I wouldn't add jalapeno, would you? No. Even one jalapeno is, I would consider still under the mild level. Medium. Medium. You're going to want to roll the lime before you cut it in half. So that means just while it's still together, just roll it as hard as you can 
just so that it's easier to squeeze all the juice out. It just softens it all up and then cut it in half and then you can just squeeze it into the salsa. You don't have to do that, it just makes it easier. Okay, do you want to start showing them what you do with that stuff? I like to put probably two tablespoons of soy sauce in there, just kind of. If you like salt, add two if you don't love salt. Yeah, it does give it's it a... It's really salty. And then some vinegar as well, about the same amount. Which was? Two tablespoons. And then the Worcester sauce, a little less, probably one tablespoon. And of course, you're gonna wanna be tasting this in between everything, right? Yeah, because that's what the salt Don't, comes down to. Don't wait to have the salt. Kaylee thinks I'm, I, I always, Kaylee thinks I always make it way too salty. You do. That's you how like I like salt. It. I think all guys like salt. Because you and Shay will be like, yeah, that's perfect. And I'm like, Ugh. so salty. So make sure, like maybe add a teaspoon of the, of everything and then taste it and make sure it's not too salty. Yummy. Should I grab some chips? Let's Taste do it. it. Are you gonna try it? Lots of salt. Hmm? Lots of salt. Yeah. Stirred up okay. a little bit. That's enough. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What made you decide to add soy sauce? No. Did, well, you just had some laying around. Had some laying around, so I thought it in. There. <laughs> Perfect. It's pretty good, though. Okay, so that is how we make our salsa. We change it up all the time, so you guys should change it up um, and try different things. Try different tomatoes, different onions, add more jalapenos, take some out, add more salt, take it out, whatever. So anyways, I hope that you could follow along with us while we made it, and thank you so much. Thank you so much for making salsa with us. You're welcome. Okay. See ya. Bye.